Okay, how do you stop being angry? We're gonna talk about times it's really, really good to be angry and times where maybe it's not so healthy to be angry and ways that we can move through the anger but also train our brains not to get so angry. So stay tuned for all the above right after the show reel. <laughs> you can't feel too much. <laughs> okay, let me tell you a little story. I'm on my way right now to go out to a friend's house, have dinner, and I got pooped on by a bird, right? So I could get super angry about it, be like, oh my God, I've got poop all over me, it's on my pants, it's on my, right? I could get myself all worked up and be very, very angry. Angry at life, this always happens to me. And I can take that attitude and allow it to wreck the whole rest of my time. This is when our brain, this is times when our anger is not really so helpful, right? Our brains do this. They look for all of the reasons why we could or should be angry, upset, annoyed. And if I look deeper underneath that, let's say I was angry right now. What's the belief I'm working with? Do I think the universe is out to get me? Is there fear that my friends will make fun of me? Am I worried because I love this shirt and that I might not get bird poop out? Or am I worried about the work it's gonna take, right? So what's actually under the anger? So when you find yourself being angry, first of all, look at what's underneath the anger, especially when it's something that's out of our control. Times that it is good to be angry, well, good. Anger's not a bad emotion, right? It's a neutral emotion, just like happiness and joy. Like we can step into any emotion. It's neither good nor bad. They all have their function and their purpose. So what might be a good time to be angry? Well, if someone pushes your boundaries, anger can be a useful tool to say, hey, they've pushed my boundaries and I need to do something different. I was actually so excited to talk about how I got pooped on <laughs> and how it related to anger. I forgot to put my microphone on. No, anger can serve a function. That being said, if you're getting angry because people aren't respecting your boundaries, maybe we also need to look at where are we not communicating our wants, our needs, our desires, and our boundaries? Because it really does boil down to us. Think about it this way. What if someone says, people that like purple flowers are super stupid. And you're like, screw you. I love purple flowers. How dare you say that to me? And you get all angry and upset. Well, first of all, it's just about purple flowers. It's somebody's opinion. Maybe it was stated a little strongly or incorrectly. But why are you reacting? This is what we need to look at. How do you become less angry? Look at what is actually underneath that reaction. So if someone says that, or something similar to that about politics, religion, COVID, um, your kids, your life, your childhood, your work, like, right? We could put it in any application. When someone says something like that and you find yourself reacting and getting angry, look at what is underneath as well. Do I feel discluded? Do I feel like that person is judging me? Do I feel like I'm not a good observer of flowers, right? Like there's something inside of me that's actually resonant because otherwise that person would be like, all people that like purple flowers are stupid. And I'd be like, that's a weird comment to make. I don't really agree with that. And actually I kind of like purple flowers, right? So when you find yourself getting angry, yes, allow it to warn you when your boundaries are being pushed, when you're not being treated respectfully, when someone says something inappropriate, when someone does something inappropriate or doesn't do something, right? Like this is definitely a good warning sign. It's good to feel the anger so you can actually deal with it, process it, keep yourself safe, keep yourself healthy. Look at what is it? That's actually under that. So if my husband didn't do the dishes the way he said, why am I angry about that? Do I feel like he doesn't value me? Do I feel like I do all the work around here? Do I feel like he's shitting on me like the bird shit on me? Right? What is that? Do I have a role that I expect him to play that I haven't communicated to him? So, Anger is good. Anger can also be not so healthy. 
if we're using our old belief systems, our old patterns, our own feelings about ourselves to influence how it is that we react with other people in the world. So next time you find yourself angry, I encourage you, write it down. This is what made me angry and start looking. Where did I learn that? Where did I pick up that? How long has this been going on? And write down in the chat box, actually, what are some things right now that you know make you angry? Maybe they're your pet peeve. It could be someone cutting you off in traffic. It could be your husband or your wife or your partner doing or not doing something, something they say, the way they act, write it in the chat. And then I want you to look at that for yourself and also look at everybody else's responses and see what might be underneath these things. How can I heal that? So when people say something, I'm not triggered. Right? Very little triggers me personally because I've done a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work on it. The people that still trigger me or that still can get me angry are like, of course, the people that always push our buttons, right? Our closest relationships, parents, my sister, right? So also look at why is it easier for them to push your buttons? Is it because you feel safe? Is it because they're so resonant because they've known you your whole life and you're like, oh gosh, the same story over and over and over and over again, right? So that's what I encourage for you. You don't have to be angry. You can learn, it's a process, it's a skill. And every time you find yourself being a little less angry or not reacting to something that you used to react to, celebrate because you're teaching your unconscious mind like, yes, this is the way I wanna show up in the world. This is the way I wanna show up to my partner. This is the way I wanna show up to everybody else and to myself. This is the way I wanna show my power because your subconscious is kinda of like a child, like a two-year-old. It likes being celebrated. It likes being told it's doing a good job and it will do more for you. So thank you. Subscribe, like, more videos, all the stuff. Stay happy. And remember you're loved, you're loving, and you are lovable. Namaste.